In this tutorial, you will learn how to quickly create crossed helical gears, also known as screw gears, in Blender. Screw gears are those mounted on non-intersecting, non-parallel axes. The shafts of a screw gear pair are usually perpendicular to each other, but they don't have to be. In this simulation, the shaft angle is 50 degrees. For two regular straight gears to mesh properly, their modules and pressure angles must be the same. In helical gears, the axial twist of the teeth introduces a helix single. Depending on the direction of the helical twist, a helical gear can be right-handed or left-handed. For two helical gears to mesh properly, their helix angles must be the same in addition to the modules and pressure angles. A module and pressure angle measured in a plane normal to the tooth are called normal module and normal pressure angle. Their relationships with the regular, or transverse, module and pressure angle are shown here. For two screw gears to mesh properly, their normal modules and pressure angles must be the same, while their regular modules and pressure angles are, generally speaking, not the same. The helix angles do not have to be the same either. Together, they determine the overall angle between the shafts. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view, and 5 to switch to the orthographic mode. Open a new window. Select text editor for the window type. Press new. We will be modeling a pair of screw gears with 12 and 27 teeth and a shaft angle of 90 degrees. Go to the online calculator at www.advinta.com slash screw.html. Enter 12 and 27 for the number of teeth. Since the desired shaft angle is 90 degrees, we will assign gear 1 and gear 2 the helix angles of 50 and 40 degrees, respectively. Both gears are going to be right-handed. The gear width values are chosen arbitrarily. We will use 12 and 18. Press Calculate. Notice that the calculated shaft angle is not exactly 90 degrees. Adjust the profile shift of gear 1 by small increments to bring the shaft angle as close to 90 as possible. Press Ctrl-C to copy the generated Python script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, paste the script to the text editor window and press Run Script. The outlines of the two gears are instantly generated. Select the smaller gear and enter the edit mode. The gear width is chosen to be 12. Extrude upwards by 6. Then select the original outline and extrude downwards by 6 also. Give each half six loop cuts. Exit the edit mode. Select the larger gear. Enter the edit mode. The width of this gear is chosen to be 18. Extrude upwards by 9. Then select the original outline and extrude downwards by 9 also. Give each half nine loop cuts. Exit the edit mode. Select the smaller gear. In the online calculator, copy the twist angle for gear 1 to the clipboard. Back in Blender, add a simple deform modifier. Copy the clipboard value to the angle box. Click Apply. Do the same for gear 2. Rotate gear 2 around the X axis by the shaft angle provided by the calculator which is negative 90. Examine the contact area closely. As you can see, a slight overlap is present. To get rid of it, shift the larger gear along the x-axis by a small distance such as 0.1. Turn both gears into manifold objects.
Let's test these gears for compatibility using Blender's Rigid Body Physics Engine. Select the smaller gear and put the 3D cursor on it. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it Axis 1. Add an empty and move it up. Call it hinge 1. Add an empty and rotate it by 90 degrees around the Y axis. Move it up. Call it motor. Select the larger gear and put the 3D cursor on it. Add a cylinder and rotate it by 90 degrees around the X axis. Call it axis 2. Add an empty and rotate it by 90 degrees around the x-axis. Call it hinge 2. Select the smaller gear. Open the physics tab. Click rigid body. Select mesh for shape and zero for margin. Select axis 1. Click rigid body. Select passive for type. Select hinge 1. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type, the smaller gear for Object 1 and Axis 1 for Object 2. Select Motor. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Motor for Type, the smaller gear for Object 1 and Axis 1 for Object 2. Enable the Angular Motor option. Select the larger gear. Click Rigid Body. Select Mesh for Shape and Zero for Margin. Select Axis 2. Click Rigid Body. Select Passive or Type. Select Hinge 2. Click Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type, the larger gear for Object 1 and Axis 2 for Object 2. Press the Play button to start the simulation. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.